Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Black Powder Red Earth. So the last time, I believe, what was it? We were securing high value targets, and now we are moving it to kill an HVT. Now this time around, we do have confirmation as to where the bad guy is. Oh! We have multiple bad guys. Alright, let's just take his ass out. I would really hope you would hit that shot at that close range. Uh, you know what? No, you can't fire anymore. Alright, so we're gonna move you up. And then you... You're gonna move here. Take the shot on that guy. Those two are civvies. I have no reason to kill them. I mean, I can kill them. I just have no real reason to open fire. They're not really a hostile threat. Get the squad moving. What do we have going ahead of us? Possibly three jihadists. Okay. Move him there. And we're gonna end our turn. It might be... Yeah, they look like they're moving in on me. Alright, so if we go... We zip over here. It might be hostile. Okay. So no bad guys in there. At least it doesn't look like there's any bad dudes. I don't know if any of these jihadists have uh, suicide vests. The only reason why I'm rushing is because we are limited on turns. And the faster we get to the objective, the faster we get out and the more time... Like, I'm trying to get there as quickly as possible so we have more time to evac. Because I don't know where extraction is going to be exactly. To give you guys an idea, as soon as the enemy's turn is done, I can go back and show you guys. Alright, so... You got the door right over here, right, where the white box is. And we've got... Door right there, and then right there. Now, chances are this door is not going to be the evac. It's going to be either this door, my luck, or if the game decides to be merciful, this door. If it's that door, we're fine. If it's the door back there, we're going to be kind of boned. So, can you guys all make it? No, you can't. Shit. Alright, so. Do any of you have white squares within the area that I can open fire? Because I got to clear these guys out. I move him here. That's a civvy. These are jihadists. He's done. Can any of you guys get closer to the objective without killing civvies? No, you can't. So that guy's on that tile. Of course he is. Can you take a shot from here? Alright, fuck it. Took his ass out, fuck him. Shit. Yeah, kinda boned. Alright, fine. And then, you move here. That guy might see us in open fire, but it's not as much of a risk. I'd rather one, if I had to pick, I'd rather one hostile fire on us than multiple. Alright, so blackout. So this should shut off the cellulars. Tell your oh my god, cell phones, I'm retarded. That guy just got his butthole tased. Did these guys all dip? No no no, continue to patrol. We're gonna go in quiet. Why did all the bad guys disappear? I just noticed that no bad guys are in the area. Uh we're gonna keep it quiet, we're gonna go in. We got a bad guy right there, so that's an easy kill. If I move over here, that's bad, so we're just gonna move right there. I'm gonna keep within the white boxes. Oh, yeah. Doesn't really matter now, does it? We're gonna move up a little closer to this guy. End the turn. You don't know we're here yet. That's our target. You move right there. Pop the target. He's down. And you 
move right here and take this guy out. Oh, there we go. We're good. Wildfire, objective gates has been decisively engaged. Roger that, Ember. Let's call it a night. Tomorrow is another mostly peaceful day. Yeah, mostly. Something like that. Wait, is that the end of the game? Did we finish it? Replay writing. I think we just finished the game. Hold on, guys. Let's uh, see what happens with the credits. Alright, so yeah, that's the end of Black Powder Red Earth. Um, really short game. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just go through operations. These are, I guess, side ops. Um, not that autumn, why not? High profile target, exfil, raid. Let's go high pro. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are like side ops. Are we gonna get any kind of story? I'm just curious. No, no, there's no. So these are just side ops if you wanna continue the game without campaign. But yeah, that's the end of Black Powder Red Earth's campaign. Um. Great. Like, in terms of gameplay, strategy, I love it. I love the game. In terms of the story, I kind of just felt like I was there. You know, there really wasn't anything noteworthy to the story. I remember somebody saying that this game was actually based off a comic series, and apparently comics were better done. Which, usually that's how these kind of games go. Where the original, the original works are better than the game itself. I'm not sure if they're planning or going to ever add more content. I mean, this game is just very short. I managed to finish this in about two videos. Sorry, four videos. Now four videos. Um, that's maybe what? Two hours? Usually my videos are about a half hour long. So this was like a really short video. I wasn't expecting this to end, so I guess might as well just stick around with this. Um, but yeah, the main story, I mean, that was really it. Um, what did we do? We got compromised a few times like now, and oh my god, there's so many bastards, holy shit. Yeah, that's fine. You guys just huddle up right there. Just huddle up. Wow, there is a lot of people. Like fucking roaches. Also, I'm kind of a dumb... Oh, well, I'm not really. I see the exfil right there. But anyway. Yeah, the story, I'm like, I don't really remember the characters' names, if at all. I just remember Switchblade, which was like a drone. Um... I remember one or two characters. I don't even know why we're here or what our purpose. Yeah, like it's all right. There we go. Just we're gonna drop. Uh, I call it. Oh yeah, I called it. Didn't kill as many as I might have wanted though. Um. It might be wise for me just to hold the line and kill as many of them as possible, honestly. Which that's probably what I just do right now. But anyway. Yeah, the story really didn't do much for me. I really didn't care about the characters and a lot of the operations, you know, like we're doing this now. Who are each of these guys? Mobile one, mobile two. They're just dudes. So it's like, okay, great. I lost mobile two. What does that mean for the story? Does that mean anything? Do I care? In terms of story writing, it, just, it was okay, it just happened. Um, if you're into RTS games, it's a fun RTS. But if you're into a serious story, you're not really getting that here. If anything, I would say try to get your hands on the comic book, if that's even still a thing. Because I tried looking on like Google Books and I couldn't find anything. Um, but if you can get your hands on it, I'd say read the comic book. That might be better for story than anything else. Um, right, I missed. Shit. Get this guy over here. I mean, if you can get your hands on the books, go for the books. Other than that, I mean... I spent about 20 bucks on this game. Am I upset about it? And again, it's a situation that it could have been better. I think the story would have been better. Gameplay is phenomenal. I love the game. But... The story is my biggest gripe. I love the artwork. I love the fact that the developers didn't even hide anything either. Unfortunately, in today's day and age, a lot of games, especially like this, 
fall victim to censorship. Son of a bitch. Okay. They fall victim to censorship, and you get sick situations like that game Six Days in Fallujah, where, oh my god, you dickheads. You get situations like Six Days in Fallujah, where people will take something more than what it is. Like, people are saying that the game Six Days in Fallujah will make... I can't remember what country Fallujah's in. I want to say Syria or Iraq. I think it was Iraq. But it'll make the Iraqi people look bad. And it's like, okay, so what you're saying is that we need to get rid of games about World War II because World War II games make the Germans look bad. It's the same argument. It's like, well, sure, that was a bad point in that country's history. But that doesn't mean that it's going to make them look bad today. That doesn't you know, It's the same argument for Germans with World War II games. Just because they were the Nazis, that doesn't mean they still are. And unfortunately, games like this, yeah, they get a little bit of controversy. Now, there wasn't a lot of story to this. There really wasn't much to really base controversy on. But I could definitely see points where people could complain if they haven't already tried to. So I give the developers credit for that, that they weren't afraid. But the story is lacking, in my opinion. I feel like they could have done more. I don't know exactly much about the comics, so I don't know exactly how much more they could have really done. But yeah, I, I'm still want to. I still want to find the comics myself and read them just to see exactly what they changed. Good job, Jackass! You shot your buddy. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much my thoughts on this game. I mean, a lot of the rules I don't understand either. Like, there's those civilians walk around. Are they civvies or are they part of the terrorists? Are they just like spotters? The game didn't really explain that. That's why I never shot at them, because I thought they were just civvies. And obviously, you know, with war, it's hard to mine, so the last thing you want to do is start popping civvies. I never understood that. That's not something explained. Um, the drone's small range of effect, I just never saw much value in really deploying it much. And I just found it more valuable to resort to strategy and trying to work your way through hostile targets rather than just dropping bombs and hoping for the best, because half the time it worked. Actually, even less than half the time it's thrown respective. So, some mechanics in this game, not really valuable, in my opinion. Um, all in all, I think they could have done more with this game. If anything, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to play through a couple of these side missions just to see what else the game has to offer. I think there is a map editor, so if anything, I'll try to pull that up real quick. Cause, God damn it! All right, at least one of my guys is probably gonna make it out. Maybe. We'll see. Hold on. Hold on. What are we doing? Look at the entire neighborhood is just swarming us. Fortunate son, jihadist as best at Nate, right? Okay, so now these guys have suicide best, so let's just get over here. And we're out. Okay, cool. That that looks cool. Uh let me see. Operation. I could have sworn there was. Yeah, no, and this is gonna load us into the first mission. Yeah, this is like the first mission we did. So the game automatically will restart. And it just has, and that's another thing too I've noticed. It seems like this game only has like two or three maps. So hold on, let me just go to main menu. Yeah, confirm action. Um, sit rep. What's sit rep? The failed state. Oh. Okay, so this tells us a little bit of the story. This is stuff that I probably should have, you know, gone through. But all right, I guess we'll read through this just so we can understand the story a little bit better. So. Shattered by conflict, the failed state of Aubari. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Mired in a civil war launched by the assassination of the nation's dictator, Aubari is being torn apart by the Unity Government's National Army and violent jihadist groups, both bent on exploiting the region's natural resources for their own gain. With neighboring states propping up both the jihadists and military, the war has no end in sight. Every day, the fighting continues. Bombings, drones, secretarian violence, 
Absolute chaos. Adjunct partner unit. Crisis troop ember. An enhanced cap- ah, I'm sorry. An enhanced capability kinetic force. Ember specializes in combining low signature infantry maneuver with drones to approach, isolate, and destroy targets. Compromised entirely of adjuncts provided to the Ministry of the Interior by private military contractors, Cold Harbor. Ember's small unit kill teams hunt the battle space in non-standard uniforms equipped with the latest generation of PPE, individual observation equipment, and weapon systems. Disciplined and highly experienced, these lethal surrogates are the most trusted asset for the co completion of critical missions in the battle space. Oh, okay, so I guess this is the country. This looks like... Is this Iraq? What fucking country is this? Is this actually a real country? I don't even know. Counterterrorism. Or an internal defense. Under the command of well-connected officers from the Arabari Ministry of the Interior, Ember targets key emirs of the Shadow Emirate. Leadership whose deaths will significantly degrade the ongoing efforts by jihadists to create a parallel state and challenge the recognized unity government. These figures hide among the populace and sprawls of the city. Surgical actions allow non-combatant casualties to be minimalized without jeopardizing mission objectives. These operations are not considered acts of war. They are matters of foreign internal defense. So basically what this means is you're allowed to kill civilians. Okay. Violent extremist groups, the Shadow Emirate. Partnered with the National Army early in the Civil War, the Shadow Emirate now builds a parallel state that defies the authority of the Unity government. Augmented by elite embers, oh, enablers, sorry, from the, I don't know how to pronounce that, Ari network, a terrorist smuggling network harbored by the neighboring Republic of Kassar, Shadow Emirate fighters are filled with resolve and the will to conduct unspeakable acts in the name of establishing a caliphate. Despite this fundamentalist front, the Emirate's true goal is enriching its leadership through the black market trade of their failing state's natural resources. The private military and destroyer complex, Cold Harbor. Based in Alexandria, Virginia, Cold Harbor is a consulting company specialized in securing internal government contracts, providing services throughout North Africa and the Persian Gulf. The company currently holds contracts with the Arabari Ministry of the Interior worth 1.2 billion United States dollars annually to include special police advisors, aerial intelligence collections, biometrics, and intelligence database system maintenance, and both rotor wing and high performance airframe maintenance. Holy shit. God damn, the military industrial complex is shit ton of money. Shit ton. Okay. That's pretty much the story. Do we have anything else that we can do? Game speed, we can make the game faster, key bindings, great. Um Campaign is just gonna auto load us back to the first mission, which is kind of annoying. So I don't think there's multiple campaigns. If I'm wrong, I'll double If I go new campaign, I'm I'm just curious. If we hit new campaign, is this gonna restart the same cutscene? No, this is going to restart the same cutscene. So, literally, yeah, Objective Vanderbilt. So, yeah, this is all the same shit that we dealt with in the beginning. Bari, day 724, capital city. Yeah. The mostly peaceful civil war yeah, continues. Yeah, no, exactly. This is the same, same cutscene. Okay, so... With the main menu. Alright, confirm action, whatever. Um... So, yeah, that's really... And then otherwise we have operations. What about... This is really... Let's go exfil. Okay. I don't know why it gave us that moment of just staring at some dude. Wow, okay, we just load up and the game's like, hey, fuck you. Okay. Um Alright, light these boys up. Number one, two. Alright, so we're still in the dark, that's good. Nobody knows nothing. I mean, other than it's really short story. Now, maybe I'm wrong and maybe I fucked myself. So, guys, if any of you play Black Powder, Black Powder Red Earth, correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. But the way it looks to me is the campaign is really short. I'm not sure if that first cutscene when I first hit campaign the first time around. Like, when I ended that last mission, 
when I hit campaign, it seemed like it was auto-loading a cutscene. I'm not sure if maybe it was loading another chapter of the campaign, maybe? But if any of you guys know that, do leave in the comment section below tell me if I was an idiot or not. Um, because I'm going to be really salty that I basically just deleted, like, a bunch of... Like, just, just a bunch of progress that I made. So, we'll figure that out later, if anything. But anyway, guys... For now, that has been Black Powder Red Earth. Until things change, I'm just going to call this, like, the end video. Um... Kind of disappointed at the ending, like I said, just because I didn't really get much out of it as, like, the viewer, more or less. Like, just for the sake of the story, I didn't get much out of it. But anyway, guys, that, I guess, is where we're going to leave this one for for today. Thank you so much for joining me on this. This is another series under this channel's belt, and I'm going to be happy to continue more going down the line. Um, if I haven't already by this point, at some point I do plan on releasing a Discord for the channel, so we'll see how that goes going forward. But anyway, guys, I will leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you like it, leave a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. Comments, questions, concerns, or ideas, leave in the comment section below and tell me what you think. Uh, if you have any ideas for the channel, uh, I'm always taking new suggestions, looking for new ideas. Um, if you want to stay informed or keep up to date with the channel, hit the bell icon. Follow me on Twitter, or if you feel so, please do so as to subscribe. And as always, any comments I get, I will respond as soon as I physically can. So we'll see you guys around the next one, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good night.